Hello, it's Aga from Morphe's Artist. Today I'd love to show you how to create materials for the bathroom scene like this. The scene I'm going to show you today is a part of our Arvis Artist training and creating materials is one part of the tutorials. I put the link in the corner so you can check it out. Anyway, today I show you how to create materials for this scene in Corona. Ah, one more thing. If you are a beginner and you haven't watched my video about the material basics, make sure you check it out first, because in this video I'm not going to explain every single step, so we are all on the same page. I put the link in the corner. We'll start with the stone at the back. Here is the texture I chose. I like a differentiation across the image. I will make it grey using a color correction map and add some glossy reflections. I think it should be darker. Let's adjust the RGB value. Let's start interactive rendering to see what's going on. Today I show you how to create materials even if you don't have all needed maps, because it happens sometimes and we need to know how to work with what we have. Level value to 1 and now we'll be controlling the reflections by glossiness value. Ok, so I will use the same texture for the reflection glossiness map. I just make it much brighter. I will add this to the bump slot too. Ok, it looks nice. For the floor tiles, I will use some stone textures from the CG source. Thanks to this, we'll achieve more variations on the tiles. Let's start from the multi-texture map. Let's load the variations. I won't be using all variations, I choose the ones that I like the most here. Here we go. We can copy the color corrections from another material and plug them to the correct slots. This will be polished stone, so let's turn on reflections and apply material. Next, we will create a ceramic material for bath, toilet and basin. I create the corona material and I'll apply to all needed objects. Let's make it white. Something around 200. Awesome. Turn on reflections. We can add a little glossiness as well. 0 0.9. Maybe even more. You can see nice reflections of light on the ceramic objects. For top and accessories, we'll create a silver metal material. Make the color black. And let's apply the material to the objects.
it's getting better and better with the materials, isn't it? Now let's change personal IR to 999. Now by changing the reflection color, we can control the color of the metal. I like to make it a bit darker gray. We'll use this material also for the pendant and mirror edges. Let's start with the pendant. I've already had the material assigned here. It's multi-sub material, so I have light material on the bulbs and standard gray for the rest. So let's plug the metal we've just created to the first slot. Nice. Okay, here's how it looks. I add the metal material to the mirror frames. I click 5 on the keyboard to go to the elements in the Editable Poly. As you can see, I have the frame polygons already selected, so I can simply apply the material to them. Now we'll create the material of the mirror. Read Corona material. Again, 5 key and Ctrl plus I to invert selection and apply material. It will be the same as metal but with white color in reflections color. Glossiness value 1 means that it is perfectly clean but I will add the surface imperfection texture as we use very often to add some realism to the image. Plug it to the reflection glossiness slot. Be careful not to make it too strong. It's super easy to do this too visible. To control this effect, we can decrease the amount of value in the maps tab. I forgot to add the stone material to some objects. Let's add it now. Let's apply it to the buff base. and also to the top. Now we'll create wood material for the panel on the wall. We'll use the similar method as for the stone tiles. Multi-texture We'll use the wood panels from the CG source. This time I add all the floor panels I have from this type. Awesome! Plug them to the diffuse slot. Let's see how it looks. Oh, I forgot to apply the material. This time, we'll also add some random gamma value to make the brightness variations. This will make some panels darker and some brighter. Not too much, I think 0.2 will be enough. Next, we'll adjust the overall color using a color correction map. I'd like it to be more towards reds and less saturated. Yes, it's better. I use color correction again and create reflection glossiness and bump. should have the level around 0.5. We can decrease the amount of glossiness so it will become brighter as it's mixed with white.
let's apply the material here as well. Lastly, we'll add the simple wood material to the shelves. I drag and drop the bitmap and I plug it to the diffuse slot. Let's apply it here. And here as well. Level 0 0.55. And again, color correction. Let's desaturate it and let's control the glossiness with the amount value. I like it to be more reflective. Ok, I also have the normal map that we'll use as a bump texture. To make it work, we need to add the corona normal and plug the texture to the normal map slot. And finally, to the bump slot. Ok, we have the materials done for this scene. The next step will be adding some details and working on the post a bit more. Anyway, that's it for today. If you would like to know how to set up the camera, create lighting, create materials, add assets and use post-production not only in this image but also in 9 others, I'd like to invite you to check out our visualization course where we teach you step by step how to create beautiful images. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye-bye!